when he was doing something for money, he come to school. And then like, he get led into the wrong track. Fast money, always ends with no money. Because you either end up dead or you end up in prison. Um, or you end up in a situation where you can't even go to the shop and go and buy it. It's kind of been for your mum. So um, I always say this. Focus on the right people. Like, I stopped. I stopped watching people like in my area. I started looking at people like you know, people that I can still relate to. Like, doing positive, Daisy, you know, people that had a similar kind of background to me, maybe even worse background than me, but maybe positive. And that's always so important. Sometimes I'm adapted to the younger generation. Yeah, brilliant. Boxing. Yeah. 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 Boxing. Yeah. Woo. Um, it's like a long time ago that you went to Cracker Stadium in Russia, you were within a whisker of stopping this guy who was really a big name in the last 10 years. What have you, as the dust has settled on, what was it, 9, 10 months ago now? Is it over a year? Because it feels like it's... It was August, it was a year ago, yeah. And what, as the dust has settled, do you look back on it now as a really hot, hot kind of positive learning experience, even though you didn't come on with the with routine, the pride, you know? You know what, recently I've been listening to 50 Cent's Google book, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. the hustlers, the um, book, and there's parts of that in there where he says things like, he was willing to fail over the years to succeed. He never tried, it's impossible to succeed, but then each time he's going, he does this. So, um, each time he's done something, he fell so many times before he got signed. Um, he had so many setbacks, you know, he was about Sammy Dillard and he got shot and they used him as like a, a reliability and things like that, so he got dropped and then he stayed on him. And that's the same thing that like, I saw it as like, it was impossible, it was an impossible ask to go out to my school and come I thought that's the only way to do it. But, I mean, good at keeping myself. I'm very, very careful. Yeah. You should have done that level, yeah, that's the point, exactly. you know, but he shows you all that level. Exactly. Yeah. 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 It's a mentality. I'm saying to these, everybody, yeah. Yeah. when I say life in a it's a mentality, it's a mindset. You have to instill in your mind first and believe in your friendship <laughs> before it becomes a reality. So, um, like, that's all I want. Lines in the camera. I met 50 Cent. Yeah, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Because he works with Bellator, yeah? Yes. With the, you know, with the million dollar tournament. Yes. He's a very cool guy. I met him for that. I went to Vegas, I was doing it for three hours. Yeah. And he literally sat down and spoke to us. And that's what I always have a deal with How did you get the in with him? It was a guy named, you know, Devin Haney. Of course I know Devin Haney. Yeah. He's dad, I called him. Yeah. Um, he, he, you know, we came close to him when he was in Vegas. He was staying in his mansion. And we came very good friends. And he was like, what did you got? Of course you know, he was a big fan. He's a big fan. He's a big fan. He's on the level, isn't he? He's on the level. He is. So then he goes, oh, he's going to be in town. And he said to me, I'm not always like, oh, whatever. And then he was in the first gym training. And he goes, fifth hit. And he got to leave. And we got back to my stuff. And then he was there at his new gym. He was in Vegas at the time. Waiting for us, and he spent about three hours on us just talking to us. Wanted to know about our life, what he was doing. That's the time we were smoking in the gym. It was beautiful. So he gave us um, information you can't even pay for. You've got sweat on talking about it. Because it's, it's making you warm. 100% because, again, that's it. When I met Fred, when I met 50, I said to him, I used to tell him, Do you say 50? Like 50. I said 50. Because I do, I do 50, and I'm, I'm probably too old to say 50. So yeah, it's 50. Um, I'm one of them kind of people. Um, I always play home with um, The information he gave me and the things I learned from the player from even watching him, I just hear him say certain things. Again, I always play home with him. Um, I'm glad just that information. Talk to me about Jack Stoll the next week, and obviously he's had tragedy in his life as well in the boxing ring, remember? Okay. <laughs> yeah, because he's fought a guy who passed away after this week. Oh, yeah, see, I didn't yeah. even know that. Yeah, I yeah. Know yeah. That. Um, You've got to take him seriously, haven't you? I'm almost definitely. I have not taken nobody like that. Not one person got to take that. Um, what I know is that he's really becoming he's solid man yeah, he's showing what I know about what I'm doing yeah no matter what happened he kept coming yeah. um, I made him after the after the fight that was a little boy and I thought that little enough I could have got him out because when someone's in the field not moving and they're just taking shots I feel like he's um, obviously he needs to be cautious 
at the same time as everything is we just want to see more people want to see more some sort of entertainment and then that's what I'm looking to do. I've got to ask you about you know Frank Warren made this brilliant PR move the other day and he and Eddie Hearn are going to meet. Yeah, yes. We all want to see you and Joshua Boy at yes. some point. I mean maybe it's too early. Um, it's kind of a bigger fight than the, than the well the Joyce Dubois fight is for me moves one of the winner into the top ten, no question yes. about it. It's an amazing fight for Joe Joyce to be winning. It's, it's a big learning fight for Daniel Dubois. But you and Joshua Boetzi, I feel like I don't want to see it in a couple of months' time. I want to see it when you both got world titles. Yes, almost. How are you feeling about it? Um, 100%. Exactly what you just said. So it's big. It's a, it's a big fight. It's yeah. a big fight. And, um, it's already a big fight, but it'd be a big, big fight if you both had big titles. It becomes a massive fight. If you both you know, stay patient, keep doing nothing, and stay focused. Yeah. Have you met him? I've met him a couple of times. Are you friends, or are you, are you, do you kind of do the lions pass each other and growl a little bit? Do you? No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's a, um, it's a friendship, but we know each other um, relatively well. But there's respect there, yeah. There's respect. He is a nice guy. He respects what I do, yeah. I respect what he does. Yeah. And um, when we meet, it's going to be an entertaining, entertaining fight because he's got a certain character in demeanor, I've got a certain character in demeanor. Yeah, we both fight. I think it takes us back, I think it's a kind of fight that takes us back to like Ben and Eubank and that kind of thing. I, I can't see you guys only fighting once. Yeah, yeah, it will be, do you know what I mean? Saying. It will be a um, historic fight. And um, no matter what happens in the fight, again, if it's a good enough build up and it's a good enough fight, Full of fans. People are going to want to see it. That's a, again, things like this are things that are doing it. You know, world title fights, big fights in terms of British domestic. I've got a lot of criticism for not fighting domestic fights. But again, I have my, my own little strategies and I, I'm a believer in opportunity. No, the planning is so important. The scheduling 100%. of your career is. It doesn't matter what other people say, it's where you want to go. 100%. And that's where you've got, you know, you've got me and Tunde. Um, Bringing Frank Warren, we're all in alignment, we're all in total agreement that we have a, a goal, and that's it again to become world champion. That's how much we want to stay there. I stayed there. I want to just become world champion and be there for a couple months. I want to become world champion and stay there, uh, take over the division, and then see what happens there. It's always great to see him, my brother. And you too, man. Yeah, Over yeah, bumps. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Lions in the camp. <laughs> yeah.